<laughs> I ripped my saw. I should be wearing a large, probably. It's actually a small. Yeah. I probably should be wearing a large. All my other stuff is larges. Uh, at one point, I was wearing extra large shirts. Um, but I like my uniforms to be a bit snug. So if I wear a two-piece, normally go small, medium. Um, so this year, they sent me some large unitards. I thought they were too loose, so I went to a medium. Wore the medium all year. I got to USA's and got some smalls in my bag. Tried it on and they fit nicely snug, so I went for it. And then um, earlier today, I was getting ready. Put on my uniform. Try to adjust the bottom, ripped, and I said, ah, oh, oops. It's a good thing I had an extra one, so hopefully this one holds tight for uh, the final and it doesn't rip, but uh, fingers crossed. Too much time in the gym? <sighs> Not enough time. <laughs> this is, uh, one, you've been to many global uh, championships now. Yeah. What's your confidence level going into this final compared to previous years? Uh, I think this is the best I felt uh, going into a, a championship. Um, just normal like running aches and pains, but no like injuries or anything in the back of my mind that gives me doubt. So uh, I'm really happy where I'm at and I'm just ready to compete. What do you think has been the key to be confident? Um, attention to all the fine details and being consistent. Um, been laser focused and putting myself first um, and everything. Kind of lived by the motto like if it's not gonna make me world champion, I'm not doing it. So um, yeah, that's probably about it. <laughs> how, Is do you, how do you feel about RT3's nickname for you? Light Skin Assassin? Assassin? That was funny. I was like, huh? My girlfriend sent it to me and I said, no way you just called me that. But uh, <laughs> it was funny. You know, he brings a lot of great humor and positive vibes to the sport. And, uh, you know, I just love all the comments he makes. You haven't won an individual title, but you're going up against, you know, Karani, who's won. Yeah. Obviously, Wade, who's an Olympic champion and all that. Yeah. How do you kind of, do you look at what they're doing? Or, like, how are you going to approach the race knowing you're going to have two guys who've been through it before? I think uh, regardless of who's in the race, the race is going to be elevated just because it's a championship race. But um, of course, you're going to be aware of who your personnel is and how they run. And you have that in the back of your mind. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to run your own race pattern. And if the race dictates something else, you just kind of elevate with the race and then uh, execute. Did you say anything to Hudson Smith after you crossed the finish line? Yeah, I said, dude, where did you I said something like, where'd you come from? I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, you caught me off guard sometimes because uh, he came out of nowhere. I was like, what the heck? I was like, oh crap. So let me win the race before I don't get yelled at. <laughs> How much of a focus was the idea of getting a good lane in the final? Um, I think that's the number one priority to win your heat. Um, it's a little bit confusing now because I think they give three, four, five, and six priority, and it's between like big cues and some random person. So um, kind of like the old way where they do like three, or four, five, and six, and the heat winners kind of get the preferred lanes instead of like the random, uh, the randomness. But uh, you know it is what it is, and it's just important to get the big cue regardless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.